What's up guys, Uncle Drew here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you just how to put everything together for the Corsair water block. If you have any questions about it, please let me know down below. I did make this video a little bit longer because I didn't want, I wanted to make sure that I didn't leave anything out. And so even little details, sometimes you're like, wait, how did you turn that or screw that on or move that or put that pad on? And sometimes you miss some of those things, especially if you just kind of cookie cutter in it if that's even a word. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything and that you don't miss anything if you have a 3080, if you can find one of those, and if you have a water block, the Corsair one in this case, and if you want to put it together. Anyhow, guys, if you like videos like this or building videos in general, make sure to check out my other videos and uh, like and subscribe, leave a comment on this video. I'm also have an Xbox Series S giveaway and a PS5 giveaway. The Xbox giveaway is at 10,000 subscribers and the uh, PS5 giveaway is at 20,000 subscribers. So make sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment on the video. And the only thing I ask is that you watch the whole video. I think um, small small price to pay, you know? All right, uh, before we get started on all of this, I just wanna give you a rundown of basically the whole video itself. So I start off removing uh, the thermal paste that comes with the block itself. I end up using a different one. And then I route the little RGB wires that I have that come with it. It's two wires, depending on how you're gonna connect it. Followed by that would be actually applying the thermal paste. I use the Arctic one. I place the board onto the water block and then I remove those little peasant peels off the back plate that comes with the water block and let me just say just right up front corsair what's going on here i really don't like the fact that it just comes with two pads i had to get my own and i ended up doing that i ended up getting the uh, minus pad uh, from thermal grizzly and i applied to those and that's towards the end of the video and then after that i just kind of put it all together and uh, i just screw on the, the the back plate onto the pcb and that's that pretty straightforward but i just want to make sure that anybody who like me was wondering how to do it and didn't want to mess up or it's your first time like me wanted to make sure that if you had any questions comments or concerns that's me popping my knuckles if you heard that noise i just want to make sure that you know how to do it and if you have any questions any comments let me know and i'll try to answer this for you after the making of this video that is me posting it and all that i have already been using the 3080 with this water block and it's actually phenomenal.com so it actually does work really well and it keeps everything cool as it should so i'm pretty happy with it and it was also the cheapest water block i could find so yeah i didn't want the rgb but it came with some i would have preferred it just to be you know non-rgb or even just all black but okay well i had the rgb so i connected it but anyhow all right uh, that's it for this introduction for this if you have any questions any comments uh let me know and let's get started Whoa. 